Okay, great hands. This is coming from your question paper. Okay, so in this case, what do you do? You just say x is equal to 0 like this. You do this only if it's in this nature. Okay, only if it's in this nature where there's nothing added, there's nothing subtracted. And this is equal to 0. So you say x is equal to 0. Or you say what is inside the bracket is equal to 0. That's what you do. 2x minus 5 equal to 0. And then from here you solve for x. Check this to the other side. Remember, the sign always changes. Now it's going to be positive. And from here, remember we are solving for x. So this is going to be 2 divided by 2 and this one. So x 2 by 2 will cancel. And then we are left with x is equal to 5 over 2. Okay. This is how you get this done. Okay. Now let's check the next question. So in this case we have what we have 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0 so this is what this is what we call quadratic standard form so in this case you always open brackets okay so if you have a number here if you have a number here that number will go with x the first x and then we have this x. So 3x times x is going to give you 3x squared. Okay. What do I put here? In this case, you need to know the factors which are correct for you. But because we have this number here in front of x, this is going to be different. So we are going to use 4 times 2. But you need to be careful where do you put your 4 Oh, and where do you put your 2? Because once we have a number here, the way to look at this is kind of different. So you say 3, let me say we put 2 here and we put 4. Okay. And then we put 2. Okay. We have to say 3 times 3 times 2. This is going to be 6. Okay. Then whatever you get, you have to add it here. According to the sign, we have to add it here. And then you must get negative 2. Okay. The sign of the immediate term is going to come here. And then in this case, we need different signs because this one is negative. Okay. Then what to do from here? You equate this to 0. You equate this to 0. Okay. Say 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Or x plus 2 equal to 0. I'm doing this for the lesson purposes. Otherwise, you can just jump this step. Okay, there, solving for x, you take this to the other side, you'll have 4 divided by 3, divided by 3. This 3 will cancel, right? So we are left with x is equal to 4 over 3. This is the first one. The second one is simple. You just take it, this 2 to the other side. Then we have x equal to negative Two. Remember, we said the sign changes. The sign changes. Why? Once you take the term to the other side of equal sign, the sign will change. Okay. Let's check the next one. Now, 2.1.3. We are still solving for x, but in this case, it's kind of unique. Okay. So the first thing you do you fix this you take this number to the other side so we are left with 5 2 x minus 1 equal to 1 now this base tells you you must write me in base 5 this base tells you hey write this base 5 make sure the bases are equal but what do we have this side we have 2 x minus 1 and then this side, how to turn this base 5 into 1? We know that any number, any number, power 0 is going to be 1. So this is correct, which means once you have the same basis, so you just equate 
the exponents okay and then from here you take this one to the other side again we are left with 2x equal to 1 so we need x remember not 2x so divide by 2 divide by 2 so my x will be equal to half so pay attention to these small problems and don't forget to like if you are still loving or liking this content 2.1.4 remember we are still solving for x in other words make x the subject of the formula okay so we have we have x as you can see here we do not have x here but we do have x here why don't we collect these terms okay we have x y remember we took this to the other side the sign changed equal to y um we are not worried about this y but we need x okay x is here x is here we can take x outside what is left here is one minus y equal to y so to have x alone we can also divide by one minus y for both sides okay this is what you can do you can expect something like this where they say make r the substitute of the formula make a z make b make x you know substitute to be the subject of the formula so that's what you do this is how we get it done so this one will cancel so therefore so x will be equal to y over 1 minus y so this is the version of the answer you can expect